In this lesson, I am going to talk about theorems on vector spaces, and I will be proving some of those theorems. Let me give a list of properties that must be satisfied by vector spaces. First is that we have our cancellation law. If v plus u is equal to v plus w, then we can cancel the v here, and we get that u is equal to w. Why can we do that? Let me start here. Suppose that v plus u is equal to v plus w. Because of the existence of the additive inverse, for v, there exists an additive inverse, negative v. So I will add negative v on both sides. And therefore, v plus negative v will be equal to 0. So I have 0 plus u. Take note that this is the 0 vector. I will just write this to indicate that that is the 0 vector to differentiate it from the 0 real number. v plus negative v is again 0 plus w. 0 plus u is u and 0 plus w is equal to w. So therefore, these two are the same. This cancellation law will actually be very useful for us to prove some very important properties, as we will see later on. We will use that to show the uniqueness of the zero vector and the inverse. Take note that when I give the definition of vector space, I said that there is an element zero, such that v plus zero is equal to zero plus v is equal to v, and this would be the zero vector. But I did not mention anything about its uniqueness. Well, it turns out that that zero vector is unique. Second is that when I also give the definition of vector space, I just said there exists a negative v in v, correct? Such that v plus negative v is equal to zero. I never mentioned anything about its uniqueness. So it's possible from the definition that there might be two additive inverses. However, this theorem tells us that it's not the case. The additive inverse must be unique. Let me prove one. So suppose there are two zero vectors. So suppose I will call this 0a and 0b just to differentiate the two. And I want to show that they must be the same. Now, since 0a and 0b are 0 vectors, then I have 0a plus v. This one should be equal to v. However, I can also write v as 0b plus v because 0b is also another 0 vector. So we have 0a plus v. I would just write that 0b plus v. So therefore, from our cancellation theorem, I can cancel v, correct? And therefore, 0a is equal to 0b. This proves that the 0 vector must be unique. Next, we will prove the existence of the additive inverse. So suppose that v is an arbitrary element in v, and we want to show that the additive inverse is unique. So suppose moreover that there exists negative VA and negative VB. Suppose that they are both additive inverses of V. Just like what we did with showing the uniqueness of the zero vector, I will write V plus negative VA. This one would be equal to the zero vector, correct? Because negative VA is an additive inverse. Moreover, V plus negative VB would also be equal to the zero vector. So hence, we have V plus negative VA is equal to V plus negative VB. And again, we will utilize the cancellation law. So V and V. So therefore, negative V is equal to negative vb. So that proves the uniqueness of your additive inverse. So that's why when we have v, we just write it as negative v for its additive inverse. Now we can actually define the difference of two vectors. Take note that the only two operations in your vector space would be 
vector addition and scalar multiplication. However, we can define subtraction, the difference of two vectors. We define it as u plus the additive inverse of v. It's the same as with real numbers, correct? Because for real numbers, a minus b is defined as a plus negative b. Let us have some more properties that must be satisfied by vector spaces. Take note, this is the zero real number and this is the zero vector over here. First, zero, when you multiply it to any vector, the answer should be equal to zero. Let's prove that. I will write zero dot v as zero plus zero times v, right? So by distributivity, this is equal to 0 dot v plus 0 dot v, correct? And I will write 0 dot v over here on the left-hand side as the 0 vector plus 0 dot v, correct? And I will write this. Why did I do that? So that I can cancel 0 dot v here, correct? And we get the zero vector is equal to zero dot v. Next, if we have any scalar and you multiply it to the zero vector, you should get the zero vector. So similarly, I would write a dot zero, this is the zero vector, I will write it as a times the zero vector is the zero vector plus the zero vector. This is a dot zero. I will distribute a dot zero. And again, just like what we did earlier in letter A, I will write this as what do you think? Zero vector plus a dot zero. So that again I can utilize my cancellation law. So this gets cancelled out. Hence, we have the zero vector equals a dot zero. Next, if a scalar is multiplied to a vector and the answer is the zero vector, this is actually the zero vector, then two possibilities can happen. It's either the scalar is the zero scalar or the vector is the zero vector. Let us prove this. So suppose a is not equal to 0 and a dot v is equal to the 0 vector. Since a is not equal to 0, then multiplicative inverse exists. This is a real number. So therefore, I will just multiply a inverse on both sides of a dot v equals 0. a inverse dot, this is And by associativity, this is the same as A inverse times A. This is dot V. A inverse times 0, any scalar times the 0 vector is the 0 vector by B. This is the 0 vector. A inverse times A is 1. And 1 dot V is equal to V. So therefore, we've shown that v is equal to 0. I will leave it up to you to prove letters d and e. Now, just to give you a hint of how to show d and e, take note that we want to show that negative 1 when you multiply it to a vector that will give you the additive inverse of that vector. So, hint, to show that this is the additive inverse of v, show that v plus negative 1 dot v would be equal to zero, the zero vector, because we know that v plus negative v is equal to zero. And once you have shown this, you can now cancel v and v here to get that negative one dot v is equal to negative v. Similarly, that is what you want to do with letter e. 
you want to show that this two over here are the additive inverse of a dot v. So therefore, show that a dot v plus for the first one, this one, when you add it with ev, it should be equal to zero. And also show that when you add a dot negative v, this one would be equal to zero. So for all of this five properties here, we're constantly using the cancellation theorem.